Mr. Rupa and Sanatan Goswami. So please, um, His Holiness, Bhakti Digna Narasim Maharaj, uh, thank you very much to be one more time with us, one more day uh, on the spiritual safari, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Marichi Prabhu. I'm very happy to take part in this safari. Always wanted to get to Bangladesh. I tried to go one time when we were going to have the opening of the temple, the Rup Sanatan temple, Vel Melo, uh, Velo, is it? was it? Anyway, just across the border from Haridaspur, where the temple is, the, we built a ISKCON temple there. But I, I had a problem with my visa, I wasn't able to get in. So, so far I haven't been. Anyway, I wanted to speak something of the glories of Rupa and Sanatan, as we're hearing about them. Of course, they're the direct disciples of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had received some letter from them. They'd been hearing about Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's wonderful activities, and they'd heard how he'd taken sannyas and how he'd gone to Jagannath Puri and liberated people like Sarvabhoma. So then they wrote to Lord Chaitanya, and when Lord Chaitanya got a letter from them, he was very happy and he understood they were very special souls. Actually, at that time, Rupa and Sanatan were engaged in the service of the Nawab Hussein Shah. And they were very, very prominent in the government of Nawab Hussein Shah, who was ruling the whole of Bengal. Sanatana Goswami was like the head of the government, and Rupa, Rupa was like the, the chanc chancellor of the exchequer. And they both had names, they both had Mohammedan names. Sanatan's name originally was uh, Sakara Malik, and Rupa Goswami was Dabir Kas. So Lord Chaitanya understood they were actually pure hearted Brahmana souls who had been influenced due to the situation that Nawab Hussein Shah had coerced them into his government, and forced them to take up service in his government. So Lord Chaitanya came there, he, he met them first at Ramakali, and he instructed them that they should give up that service and they should take to Krishna consciousness. So Rupa Goswami immediately was able to leave and later on he was able to meet Lord Chaitanya at uh, Prayag, where the Ganges meets the Yamuna. And for 10 days, Lord Chaitanya instructed Rupa Goswami there. And he instructed Rupa Goswami in the science of rasa. He explained how every living entity has a relationship with Krishna from Santa to Dashya to Sakya to Vatsalya to Madhurya. So every living entity has some kind of relate, one of these five relationships with the Lord. And he explained the science of this rasa to Rupa Goswami. And this was the basis of Rupa Goswami's book, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, which Srila Prabhupada gave us in the form of the nectar of devotion. So Lord Chaitanya instructed Rupa Goswami for 10 days there in Prayag, and then he sent him to Vrindavan. He gave him, he said, Vrindavan is Prabhadatta Desh. My, I'm giving you that place. You go there and develop it. At that time, there were no temples hardly in Vrindavan. So Rupa Goswami went there. He left everything. Uh, he divided his wealth also, very nice way. Half of his wealth he gave for the service of the Krishna conscious community and the Brahmanas. 25% he gave to his family members and he kept 25% for some emergencies for himself. Sanatana Goswami was delayed in getting away because he was so valuable to Nawab Hussain Shah. Nawab didn't want him to go. 
and at one point Sanatan found himself in jail, but he was a very clever person and he was able to bribe and uh, influence the jailer to release him. So Sanatan was able to also escape from the place and he went off and he met Lord Chaitanya at, at, at Benares. Lord Chaitanya this time was staying at the home of uh, Tapana Mishra or Chandrasekhar. The two of them, they were both there in Benares and Lord Chaitanya met them there. And Lord Chaitanya told Chandrasekhar, go outside, there's a great devotee outside, outside the door. And when he went outside, he saw some Moh Mohammedan mendicant, someone who he could see was a Muslim. And Lord Chaitanya said, yeah, bring him in. The Lord Chaitanya actually went out and brought him in and embraced him. This was Sanatana Goswami. He'd come there and he looked, he was still like a Mohammedan. He was still in his Mohammedan dress. So Lord Chaitanya instructed uh, Tapana Mishra, take him to a barber and make him clean. Because Sanatana had grown a beard by this time. So Lord Chaitanya didn't like beards and he told him, go and make him clean and shave him up and put on, then they gave him some old, he, he want, they wanted to get him new cloth. He said, no, just give me some of my, your old cloth. And Lord Chaitanya was very pleased to see Sanatan taking the mood of renunciation. So Lord Chaitanya instructed Sanatana Goswami in Benares for two months. He instructed him for two months in the behavior of a Vaishnava. And it was on the basis of Lord Chaitanya's teachings, Sanatana Goswami compiled Hari Bhakti Vilas. And of course, Sanatana also wrote other books like Brihad Bhagavat Amrita, all based on the teachings which he'd been receiving from Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu over two months. So Sanatan was also sent to Vrindavan and Rupa and Sanatan, they became the two generals or lieutenants in Lord Chaitanya's Sankirtan army. Rupa and Sanatan established, not, they not only wrote books on the philosophy, but Rupa Goswami had the Radha Govinda temple constructed and Sanatana Goswami Madan Mohan temple constructed. So the two main temples there in Vrindavan established by Lord Chaitanya's direct disciples. And at the same time, they were discovering the holy places of Krishna's pastimes. Sometimes Lord Chaitanya would come and help them, just like Lord Chaitanya came and showed them where is Radha Kund. And then also they were writing books, the Bhakti Shastris. And after Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left the world, finished his pastimes. Then these books were so important for the life of all the devotees in Bengal, in Bengal, Bangladesh. The books of the Goswamis, copies were brought for them so that they could all take shelter of the teachings of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which were preserved through the writings of Rupa and Sanatan. So they were such wonderful devotees. They did such a wonderful service. It said just like the heart of Brahma was inspired by Lord Krishna with the Vedic knowledge, in the same way the heart of Rupa Goswami was inspired with all the pastimes of Lord Krishna by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So such wonderful devotees, Rupa and Sanatan Goswami, they played such an important part in the service of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So we're very much indebted to them and we're very happy to go to Rup Sanatan Dam there in Bangladesh and get offer our prayers to them and beg them that they will also bless us that we can do some small service for Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Srila Rupa Goswami Prabhupada Ki, Srila yeah. Sanatana Goswami Prabhupada Ki, Gaur Primanande. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you very much for your nice speech.
uh, we really appreciate and we would like to introduce